Hey YouTube, uh, today I'm going to be talking to you about a couple or maybe three different ways you can fix the error that normally occurs when you're trying to downgrade your software, or I'm sorry, not software, firmware from uh, any any firmware really. Uh, if you're downgrading, I'm going to use the uh, iPad 2 for example. I recently had to downgrade my firmware from 4.34 back to 4.3.3 okay I have a video that explains step by step how to do that but during that process uh, you're going at right at the end you're going to get a 3194 error or some other uh, 1600 XX error um, and what I'm going to do right now is show you a couple different ways that you can fix that in order to get Tiny Umbrella to go ahead and kick it out of recovery, what what has happened is you you have gone through the whole process of putting your firmware back on your device, and your device is actually, uh, for a lack of a better way to describe it, it, it's hung in DFU mode or recovery mode uh, not recovery mode, DFU mode It's you, you've got to figure out a way to kick it out of the uh, D, it's either DFU or recovery mode it gets hung in, I can't remember exactly but I'm going to show you how you can fix it and you're going to have to have first off you're going to have to have tiny umbrella uh, when you get this error some of you can maybe can simply all you'll have to do when this error comes up and you've got iTunes open right at the end of the downgrade process you'll get er, it'll, it'll click error 93 will come up on the screen if that is the case don't panic it's very simple to fix and I'm going to show you all you have to do to fix it first off when you're running tiny umbrella you make sure if you if you're a Vista user or a Windows 7, you're probably going to have a little bit more trouble than uh, others, uh, especially I did. What I had to do, and you can see I'm still getting errors in here. Uh, I I eventually just had to go to make a completely new administrator account that was the only way I could get my downgrade to work I don't know what was on this account that I, I've got all of my uh, other things in my desktop here set up now now this this account I'm in right now on Vista would not complete the downgrade process I had to go back in my Vista and I had to go into computer no I'm sorry control panel uh, now this is some of the ways that I'm telling you here to fix your problem go into Vista go into user accounts and right here you're going to hit make or manage another account you're going to click manage another account and right here you're going to click new and then once you click new you're going to you're going to have to be positively sure that you assign administrator rights 100% across the board in this account or it won't work that is the only way you can get it to work and once you get that in there you're going to have to download tiny umbrella you're going to have to have uh, access to your SH, SH blobs and there's going to be one other possibility that you can do and that is one other thing right here I have a file on my, ho uh, my host file you can open it up and I'll have all this in the description open it up with notepad right at the bottom you're going to add 74 dash 208 dash 105 dash 171 space GS 
dash apple dot com okay once that's added well just to be safe paste this whole just the, I, I'll uh, I'll have a link to this paste this whole copy and paste this whole file into your um, system 32 folder and I'm going to show you where that's at and I'll have this in the description too computer double click on uh, C, uh, C drive users now this is where I was having a little trouble before we're going to, I'll show you uh, let's go back I should have selected right here I should have selected uh, C drive Windows go down here to system 32 drivers ETC and right up here at the top host you're going to have about one two three four five there's six files inside here and this host file that's in here right now doesn't have that uh, .gs.apple.com uh, string at the end you're going to make sure that's copied and pasted at the end or this will not let you get past that error once you get that in there you're going to the easiest way I found to do it was simply I drug it to my desktop fixed it and then I drug it back over and I I clicked moved and replace alright once you do that you're going to need to reboot your system once it comes up you need to right click tiny umbrella run as administrator let it run in the background open open iTunes up and everything should be milk and honey so hopefully that will fix your problem if you have any more problems you can uh, give me an email and I'll put all this other the other stuff in the description as well that you need to make this work this is I know you probably think this is a, a very difficult error but it's not it's pretty simple to fix come over to iPhone.com iPhoneCaptain.com. Thanks for watching.